So in this video we're going to be showing you how we're going to get the Reading Local up here that's staged on track 3 at Reading down along track 1 heading towards Sinking Springs down here to this signal then past track 3 at Sinking Springs to Mannheim Junction up through here, up through the track 2 up to Hershey where the train will be stopping and as you can see at the moment we have the track occupied by a switcher doing some switching work at Sinking Springs Now that our switcher has finished its duties at Sinking Springs and cleared track 3, it's placed the covered hopper and the switcher back up in this siding. We have the Reading Local staged here at the end of the branch and we're going to be bringing it back from track 3 up through track 1 through Mannheim Junction to track 2 at Hershey where we'll be continuing our switching. So first thing we need to do is to throw this turn out to the siding. You'll notice that the aspect changes on track 3. Then we need to move down here throw the turn out from track 3 to track 1 and then you'll notice the triple head mast has now gone to an approach limited. Then we need to move back to our branch line junction and you'll notice the aspect change there. Throw the turn out from the Reading branch to track 3 and you'll notice the change of aspects on the panel and also in the video above. Now all we need to do is wait for our local to move off and you'll notice that once the local moves off and occupies the next block in front of that clear signal mast now you'll notice the change on the panel and on the signal masts as the train occupies the next block as it's just changed there then what we're doing is waiting for the front of the train to occupy track one and the main line coming out of track three See now that the front of the train has moved into track one. The Reading branch is now cleared and also the front of the train is also now at the start of Mannheim Junction in the block up the top. So now we're waiting for the rear of the train to clear track three at Sinking Springs. Then once the train's cleared track three, we can then work our way back through, close some of the turnouts. So just waiting for the front of the train up here which it's now into this block and it's cleared track 3 so we're just waiting for the last section to clear the turnout here and we're now got the front of the train and the track 2 at Hershey also so we'll throw the turnout to the main line that's now back to track 1 and also throw the turnout at the Reading branch where it comes into track 3 at Sinking Springs this section up the top here you'll notice that it's got a block occupied above. This is because of the crossover here being so close. I want that to be occupied as well to avoid any strikes where trains end up passing. So now we're just waiting for the train to clear Mannheim Junction. So that's now cleared Mannheim Junction and we're just waiting for it to clear the crossover. So the caboose has now cleared the first section of the crossover between track 1 and track 2 at Mannheim Junction and it's now cleared the last section and that's our train now stored on track 2 at Hershey